Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone had a great holiday season and happy new year to everybody out there. Today, I'll be doing a cookie video. A, a little different, a little cookie video. Recipes with Risa started a cookie collaboration called Cake Mix Cookie Platter. I'll be making three cookies from three different cake box mixes and really simple. They all take a stick of butter and a couple eggs and that's it. That's what we're making three. So, Cake Mix Cookie Platter collaboration. Thank you Recipes with Risa for allowing me to participate. So, I'm so happy to be with you guys today. I haven't baked cookies in a long time, so let's get started. All right, so our first cookie is going to be a carrot cake cookie. See that? So let's get that in our bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and aerate the flour or the mix before I add anything. This will just make it easier to uh, mix in the wet ingredients. Right. So I went ahead and I cut up a stick of butter. That's gonna go in along with two eggs. I have about a three quarter cup of fresh carrot that I uh, Use, I use a zester, so I zested about a, a little more than half a cup of fresh carrot to go in there. And I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. All right. So let's... Slowly bring, bring this together here. All right, so here's our batter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in a bowl Put it in the fridge to have her chill down before I portion her out into our cookie sheet. All right, so our carrot cookie dough batter is nice and chilled. I'm gonna use a little baby scoop. You could do it by hand and kind of eye it, but I'm gonna, the first one I kind of did the drop method. This, one's a, this one I'm gonna use uh, the scoop. So I'm simply gonna go in there Just like that. Excellent. So let me walk my way around here. Yeah, pretty simple cookie technique here. Probably not what your grandma did or mom does at home, but you don't have to tell anybody. <laughs> your secret is good with me. 
<laughs> and YouTube land. All right, let's roast them walnuts. So I have a pan on the stove. Put it on low heat. Get you on frame here. Get that on low heat. I'm gonna add some butter. I'm gonna add two, a little more than two tablespoons of butter. Our butter has melted, so I'm gonna add the walnut, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I won't be using all these for our cookies, but might as well do a. So now I'm just going to coat the walnuts in butter. I'm going to season them with a little salt. I have the oven preheated at 250 degrees. The walnuts have already been. They've already been roasted. I've tasted them, they don't taste raw, so we just want to infuse some flavor. So now I'm going to hit it with a little, little bit of cayenne pepper powder, just for a little bit of heat. Alright, let's give them a taste. Turn down the heat, I don't want to burn them. Wow, those are yummy. A little more salt, a little more sugar. salt, a little more sugar, okay, these are good, so now I'm just going to toss them in the 250 degree oven until they just basically get all the flavors infused, it should be no more than 10 minutes or so, any longer you, you'll be liable to burn them. All right, brownie cookies are up next, and I'm using this box, Supreme Walnut Brownie Mix. Sounds wonderful. So in goes the cake mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and aerate the mix. And this will make it easier to, uh, like I said before, to accept the dry ingredients, the dry, the wet ingredients. All right. I went ahead and I small cubed a stick of butter. I'm going to add the two beaten eggs. And I'm going to add some vanilla extract. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, let's go with two. So that's a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh man, that smells wonderful. All right, the nuts I'm gonna fold in once everything's incorporated here. All righty, here we go.
So, here's our cookie dough. Let's go ahead and fold in those roasted walnuts. All right, so I have a half a cup of those roasted walnuts and I'm gonna go ahead and fold in. And after I roasted the walnuts, I cool them down to room temperature and they're ready to go. Now I have, I roasted a lot more than these, but uh, I'll just put them around, just snack on them or if I make a salad, toss them in a salad. Beautiful. I'm gonna get this in a bowl. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And we're gonna start baking, baking those cookies. All right, on to our brownie cookies. Our dough batter's been nice and chilled. So let's go ahead and start scooping it out. With my little scoop here. It certainly helps to chill the cookie dough. All right. I got a nice silk pad full of these chocolate brownie cookies. Just put them in the oven. Well, here we are, folks. Carrot, blueberry, and walnut brownie cookies. Beautiful. All I need is a glass of milk. All right, so here we go. My blueberry cookies, my brownie cookies, and my carrot cookies. And I garnished them. I added um, frozen blueberries. My blueberry cookie you could always add fresh blueberries. Roasted walnuts for the brownies, which I added salt, pepper, and a little, just a hint of cayenne. And zested carrot and ground ginger for the carrot cookie. So it ended up like a spice, like a spice cookie. I'd like to thank Recipes with Risa for starting the collab and allowing me to partake. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching and spending a little time with me today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys here next time on The Guy Show. Goodbye, everybody.